A very good day to you. I am Ruben sir and I am today going to teach you a very important topic in grammar. The reported speech. It's also called direct and indirect speech. Now before I could go further and I could tell you about direct and indirect speech, you should first of all know what does it mean by direct speech. Direct speech are the actual words of the speaker. See, when you are talking to someone, the words that you are saying, the words that come out from your mouth, that is called direct speech. Now, indirect speech is your words, the words that you have spoken, would be interpreted by the second person to the third person. And that is called indirect speech. So this is what direct and indirect speech means. So the definition for direct speech is that direct speech are the actual words of the speaker. Now I'm going to, I'm going to start the lesson direct and indirect speech. Now first of all, when you learn direct and indirect speech, you have to learn some particular rules. That is very, very important. Now I'm going to write a sentence on the board. For example, Ram said, okay, Ram said, I am not well. Now, how do you differentiate direct and indirect speech? When you see a sentence, how do you know whether the sentence is in direct speech or whether the sentence is in indirect speech? A very simple method is, if it is a direct speech, you will see that they are in inverted commas. So if the sentence is in inverted commas, it means that it is direct speech. And also, after the word said, there will be a comma. So immediately you can understand that this is a direct speech. Now, to start direct speech, the first rule, rule number one, see, rule number one, it is called punctuation rule. Okay, it's called the punctuation rule. Now, what do you mean by punctuation rule? You have to know what is punctuation rule. Now, what are the punctuations in this sentence? If you look at this sentence very carefully, you will see the punctuations there. The comma and the inverted commas. This is the punctuations, the punctuation that is being used here. So, when you start converting or when you are, you know, transforming the direct speech into indirect speech, the first and the most important thing that you have to do is, you have to remove the comma and the inverted commas. These two has to be removed. And in, in the place of comma, you see, in the place of comma, you have to add a subordinate conjunction. The subordinate conjunction that you will add is that. You can add three, any of the three subordinate conjunctions, that, if, or whether. Now, if and whether, I will later on explain to you what, when should you add if or whether. I do not want you to, you know, muddle up your mind by giving you in the beginning itself, all those things, you will get confused. So I'm going to give it to you directly. What you have to do is, first of all, when you get a direct speech, what you have to do, remove the comma and the inverted commas. And instead of the comma, you should add that. That should be added instead of the comma. Now that is a subordinate conjunction. So this is the first rule that you have to follow. I hope you understood. Now, the second thing that you have to know is in a direct speech. Now, for example, Ram said, I am not well. Now, there will be two verbs in the direct speech. One verb is called this verb. It is called the reporting verb. Okay, this verb is called the reporting verb. And the verb, this verb is called the reported word. 
So there are two verbs. One verb is called the reporting verb and the other one is called the reported verb. So this is very, very important when you are doing direct and indirect speech. Because when you get a sentence to convert to, to direct, from direct to indirect speech, you must first know your, you know, you have to first know the reporting verb because everything depends on the reporting verb. That is why you have to know the reporting verb. Now, where do we find the reporting verb? That would be a big question. Now, how do I find out where is the reporting verb? The reporting verb will always be before the comma. Like I told you, Ram said there will be a comma here. The reporting verb will always be before the comma and the reported verb will always be inside the inverted commas. So changing of direct speech into, di into indirect speech, this reporting verb has a great importance in the sentence. Unless you know the reporting verb, then it is easy for you to convert direct speech to indirect speech. So I hope you understood the preliminary of this particular, this particular topic. This is the preliminary thing that you have to know. Once more, I will repeat it to you. When you get a sentence in direct speech, you differentiate the sentence whether it is direct or whether it is indirect by looking at the sentence. If it is a direct speech, you will find the comma, you know. Before, see, after said, there will be a comma and they will be in inverted commas. So you immediately will be able to understand that it is in direct speech. And when you are changing it from direct to indirect speech, the first thing that you have to know is the punctuation rule. Now, what is the punctuation rule? As I told you, the punctuation rule is that you have to remove the comma and the inverted commas that you have to remove. And in place of comma, in the place of comma, you should add a subordinate conjunction. The subordinate conjunction will be that. And when do you add that? You add that if the sentence is a declarative sentence or a statement. You will not add that if it is an interrogative sentence. You will add that only if the sentence is a declarative sentence or it is a statement. Now I hope you understood. Now we are going to do the second rule. Okay, now we are going to go on to the second rule. The second rule is that. Now rule number two. I'm going to tell you about rule number two. Rule two. If the, okay, if the Reporting verb. Reporting verb is in present or future tense. There will be, there will be no change in the reported verb. See, this is the rule that you have to understand. That is, if the reporting verb is in present tense or future tense. So you must check your reporting verb. As I told you, first you have to check your reporting verb. If the reporting verb is in present tense or if it is in future tense, then please do not change the tense of the reported verb. You don't have to change the tense of the reported verb, but you have to keep in mind that the personal pronouns will change accordingly. The first person pronoun will change according to the subject. The second person pronoun will change according to the object. And the third person pronoun, there will be no change. So the personal pronouns will change accordingly. The first person pronoun will change according to the subject. The second person pronoun will change according to the object and the third person pronoun will not change. Now I will show you two sentences so that you will be, it will be easy for you to understand. 
okay so when you get a report when you get a when you are getting a you know when you get a sentence to change to indirect speech now for example ram says and then i am not going see i am not going to school today ram says i am not going to school today now as i told you the first thing that you have to do when you are changing from direct to indirect speech check your reporting verb now the reporting verb as i told you will always be before the comma so the reporting verb will be says then you have to see what is the tense of this verb now the tense of this verb is present tense so what is the rule that i told you if the reporting verb is in present tense or future tense there will be no change in the reported verb now this is the reported verb i am going is a reported verb there will be no change in the reported verb so the reported verb the tense will be the same except that the personal pronoun will change according to the subject now for this sentence if you are changing it to indirect speech what would you write you would say ram says remove the comma remove the inverted commas and as i told you because this is a statement or is it a declarative sentence in the place of says after says you must read that see ram says that now the pronoun the personal pronoun the first person pronoun will change according to the subject so what will come in the place of i ram says that he now see am always comes only with i when he is replaced i is replaced by he then you cannot write he am so this will become same present tense but is now see so what will be the answer the answer will be ram says that he is not going to school today now in reported verb today is adverb of time you know that in reported verb when we are changing from direct to indirect speech we change the adverb of time and place but remember one thing keep it in your mind if the reporting verb is in present tense or the future tense there will be no change in the tense of the reported verb and there will be no change in the adverb of time and place so the sentence today will be today please do not change it now why are you not changing it because you're not changing the adverb of time because the reporting verb is in present tense so this is the first thing that you have to understand so when the reporting verb is in present tense or future tense for example supposing i write here ram will say i am not going to school today see ram will say i am not going to school today now here the reporting verb is say so ram will say now what tense is will say you know that whenever there is will or shall with the verb it is a future tense so ram will say it means it is a future tense and because it is a future tense there will be no change in the tense of the reported verb or there will be no change in the adverb of time and place so how do we write this Tom, ram will say that and exactly as you wrote in the earlier sentence he is not going to school today so i hope you understood this now once more i'm repeating it to you so that you will understand better if the reporting verb is in present tense or the reporting verb is in past tense then there will be no change in the tense of the reporting verb the the pronouns will change accordingly the first person pronoun will change according to the subject the second person pronoun will change according to the object and the third person pronoun will not change so i hope you understood this 
Now, the second thing is that if, now see this, this is the first thing that you have to understand. Now, the second thing what I'm going to tell you is that if the sentence is a universal truth, now you know what is a universal truth. Universal truth, something that we cannot change in the universe. It's a truth. For example, the sun rises in the east, the sun sets in the west. There are eight planets in the solar system. The sun is a luminous body. The moon is a non-luminous body. The earth is round. Okay, all these are universal truth. So when you look at the sentence, and if it is a universal truth, then there is nothing to do. You don't have to do anything. You don't even, you just have to change, remove the comma, add that, and the same sentence you have to write. You don't have to change anything in the sentence. Now, for example, my father, okay, my father said, my father said, there are eight planets. See, my father said, there are eight planets in the solar system. So, this is direct speech. Now you are changing it to indirect speech. And so what will you write? You will say, my father said, and then you will remove the comma, remove the inverted commas, and simply you have to just add that. Okay, that and bring this to lowercase. See, whenever it is a direct speech, I think you must be already knowing, after the comma, you always will write capital letter. But when you are changing it to indirect speech, you will remove the comma, write that, and then the capital letter will become small letter. So you simply say, my father said that there are eight planets in the solar system. So the second thing that I asked, told you is that if it is a universal truth, there will be no change at all except that you would remove the comma and instead of the comma, you would put that. For universal truth, we don't change the tense of the reported verb. Now the third one, the third one is that if it is a habitual action. Now supposing the sentence is a habitual action. Now I suppose you know what is a habitual action. Habitual action is something that you are doing every day. I get up in the morning, I go to school, I go to school daily, I play cricket in the evening, I brush my teeth in the morning, I have my breakfast. All these are habitual action. All habitual actions, if you see the sentence and if you realize or you think it is an habitual action, then please do not change the tense of the reported verb. I will show you a sentence, Ram said, I play cricket. Okay. Ram said, I play cricket every day. You see? Ram said, I play cricket every day. Now here this sentence, I play cricket every day, is a habitual action. And because it is a habitual action, you don't have to do anything to the report, the tense of the reported verb. The tense of the reported verb will be the same. So how do you change this? You will say, Ram said, remove the comma, remove the inverted commas. In place of the comma, you will add that. And the first person will change according to the subject. So what will come here? This first person pronoun will change according to the subject. So Ram said that, and then I will become he. Okay, he. Now you know that when you write he here, play has to be place. Because I think you already learned a, sub, a particular topic called subject verb agreement. Now, what do you mean by subject verb agreement? When the subject is singular, the verb has to be singular. When the subject is plural, the verb has to be plural. So that is that is why I'm, I'm adding S here. So now why did I not change anything here? I said Ram said that he plays cricket every day. So what is the meaning of that? if it is a habitual action. And now the fourth one, the last one is that if something is permanent, that is if you are talking about 
something permanent okay now if something is permanent now what do you mean by if something is permanent that means it is something permanent and you will never be able to change it you cannot alter it or you cannot change it for example the teacher said okay the teacher said the taj mahal okay the taj mahal is in Ag agra now you know that taj mahal is a monument built by shah jahan hundreds of years ago and it is still there the taj mahal is still there it's a permanent monument and you cannot change taj mahal or you cannot replace taj mahal from there to another place that is what i mean by saying when something is permanent so when you are know that the sentence is stating something that is permanent then you must not change the tense of the the tense of the reporting verb so simply you would say the teacher said that okay the teacher said that the taj mahal is in agra so these four things you should keep in mind so once again i'll repeat it the rip, the tense of the reporting verb will not change under four circumstances number 1 number 1 is that if the reporting verb and the reported verb is in present tense if the reporting verb sorry not the reported verb if the reporting verb is in present tense or future tense then there will be no change in the tense of the reported verb then what would change only the personal pronouns the personal pronouns will change i told you first person will change according to the subject second person according to the object and third person pronoun will not change it will remain the same now when does the reported verb not change number 1 i told you number 2 is if it is a universal truth number 3 is if it is a habitual action and number 4 is if something is permanent so i hope you understood this particular you know you understood this particular area or this particular thing that i have told you now i'm going on to the second group if you have understood my video and if you like my video please do subscribe so that i will continue this in the next class thank you